here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be looking at using Melodyne and we're going to be taking some falsetto singing I did. We're going to be tuning it and turning this. <laughs> Not so great. Into this. The process is pretty similar across all the instances that you do this. And the way I record these is I actually record them all onto a single track and I playlist them as I go. And then I go through and pick out the different ones. I even sing the harmonies on the same track. And then later on, I extract those things and build the vocal stack from that. We're gonna edit these two. I am actually not done picking out all the stacks. I have a giant playlist full of takes and I'm just going through and picking out the ones I like the most. So to get it into Melodyne, uh, first I have my ARA plugin selected as Melodyne and then to add these clips to it so that they actually show up in Melodyne, I'm gonna right click on them, go to Melodyne with them selected and hit edit. And this is gonna send both clips simultaneously to Melodyne. I'm gonna detach it by clicking on that tab down there just so that I get the full screen. And on the bottom, you can see where the waveform is. We're gonna go ahead and head over there and find our audio. All right, so on the side here is our multi-track view. This is a studio version feature and it allows you to see all the other tracks in your session and you can toggle between which one you're looking at. It's really nice. You can hold shift and click to set a selection of tracks to a particular view. And if you control click, you can break that selection and deselect things so you can have it do exactly what you want. But you can see how quickly we can jump between takes. It's really nice. This menu at the top here, you never really need to come up here for. You can just right click and you can choose your tools from here. So for like we'll take the zoomer tool, for example, and zoom out a little bit and we can see where this is. So you're gonna see me pulling this up and closing it quite often. It is an extremely handy tool. A few other things that are nice to know is about the navigation. If you control and scroll, you could zoom in and out wherever your mouse is at, which is pretty nice. If you shift scroll, you'll move along the side. And if you regular scroll, it'll move you vertically. So these vocals are part of a big vocal stack. So we're gonna start off with some general moves. The first thing I'd like to do is just center everything. And also it looks like this should just be a separate note. Doesn't look like that should be the same note. If we take a look at the other one, it does it as well. So let's go ahead and since we're gonna be making changes to both tracks, I'm going to hold shift and click on the edit notes. So it sets both these tracks to make it so I can edit them at the same time. And if we come up here to this macro, we can go ahead and come to this pitch center control and just completely center the pitches. Now we don't wanna to touch pitch drift yet because you can see it gets rid of that glide we have. That's actually pretty nice. So I might do this on a per note basis rather than using a general control for this. This, this sort of stuff works better for these sort of background style things. And now what I wanna do is I'd like this note to be set up a bit separately, right? Obviously it's trying to sing something else. So we're gonna right click and bring up our handy dandy tool and go over to the note separation tool. And I'm simply gonna click here and let's go to the other track. Let's make sure we got both of them. Click there as well. And let's go ahead and make both tracks viewable because we're done looking at them like that. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Now these notes did not get the pitch centering because we did that move first. And we may want these to sort of top out at a given range. So maybe what we'll do is we will select these notes and we will select them like so. And I'm just click dragging to select them with both the tracks active. And again, I'll come in here and center those separate. And let's just hear how that sounds. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. And let's go ahead and now select all the notes again. So I'm going to click off to just deselect them. And I'm going to choose the pitch drift tool. And I'm going to flatten it out just a bit. So things are just a little bit sharper. Now there are a few things here we could look at changing. So I'm going to select the pitch modulation tool on this particular note and bring it in. And if you really want to tackle this front bit separately, we could go to the other one to do this. We will go to the note separation tool, double click. We'll go to the note shift tool, which is this first one here. You get good at this as you do it more and more. And you see how the snap setting prevents me from uh, going to where I want. You could go fiddle with the snap settings, uh, but I am just going to shift, or I'm sorry, alt click and just center it where I want. And then I can bring the modulation tool up. Now I'm getting rid of the bend. Uh, it's up to you how much you want to affect this. But I think that's nicer. So on this one too, we might go ahead and take in the modulation tool and I might actually do the pitch tool and shift it up just a hair here. I want it a little higher. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So you go through, you do each note just like that, uh, using your ears, previewing as you go. Let's say that I want to experiment with adding in a bit of a harmony. So I could do that. I could come in and say, hey, you know what? I want to see what it sounds like if this note stays the same. Now, there are some wonky stuff on the sides. Um, there are things you could do to try and fix this. Like you could remerge the notes. So if we come over here and go to the note separation tool and wherever you see these lines, you can actually click to join them. And then we could go to the modulation tool and bring this down. Now we're really flattening it out. Uh, now with 12 stacks, it's not gonna matter as much, but maybe we wanna experiment with a potential harmony. You know, if you if you want to do something like that. Okay, so I've gone through on all the tracks. I also mixed it a little bit and picked out different takes and went through this same process individually. Now I'm looking at them with them all selected here and you can kind of see general trends here. Like for example, this note comes down, um, but on the take that that happens on, You know, that's a good thing. I like how that sounds. If we're coming over here, though, we might see, oh, this is kind of a lot of spread uh, to the point where I'm basically singing a half step apart. This sometimes is actually not that bad, and other times it's not good. So let's go ahead and hear it. With so many voices, um, you, you should let your ears guide you. Like, this looks uh, down quite a bit. I might raise this up as well. That's just looks. Let's hear it. So we might take this down. Maybe we want to go major. I don't know. We'll see. We'll take these down and hear the difference. And on this here, we might tighten up this grouping as well. Maybe we do keep this major. I mean, we didn't listen to it, but I, I have an idea of what the minor will sound like. Yeah, let's, let's try out the minor. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's stick with the major. I like the major more. So that's the first vocal stack. I think it came out quite nice. There is a second stack over here doing its own thing as well. There's actually less voices on this one. And you can see right here again, we have that sort of rub. But the rub isn't always a bad thing. Um, it depends on the phrase, right? So let's hear it. So the breaths, let's say that you want to get rid of the breaths. It's something that bothers you. I actually like the breaths. Um, 
I don't, they don't bother me at the moment in the mix, but who knows? Maybe later on down the line, they will. These little like dashed lines, those are breaths. And you could come in and select them and delete them if you want. So in the context of the track, let's go ahead and hear it. We'll start from a little ways back. Stack two. So that's using Melodyne to create a cool falsetto vocal stack. It's not a lot of steps, it's pretty straightforward. Honestly, it's more about seeing the end vision and being willing to record so many takes. <laughs> Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.